a former NBA basketball player who was part of the Miami Heat's 2012 NBA championship and then some. But off the court, Ronnie Toriaf is a global game maker and game changer, making the world a better place. He just wrapped up a popular reality sports leadership trip to Israel. We're very happy to have him here with us. Hello, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. You are such a gentleman. I just want to say you're, you had a good, strong mom, didn't you? Definitely, definitely. And she was 5'5". Five, five, so she, she was 5'5". Five, five. She was pretty strong. How did that, so how old were you when you were taller than her? Probably when I was nine and a half, ten. Wow. That <laughs> is so funny. So tell me, like you grew up, um, you know, originally in Martinique in the Caribbean, and I know you now live in France. So what was it like learning basketball, you know, on, you know, an island nation? Yeah, it was, it was interesting. You know, as a, back then, I remember just a small basketball court, not too many indoors court at the time, and I was playing outside on concrete. My knees was hurting. Oh. But it was a good time, you know, and I think uh, it's always fun to reminisce of the mm -hmm. good times where it started of course. and how far and where my journey with this beautiful orange ball has taken me <laughs> to so many different places. This is the best thing about basketball, it's true. All you need is a basketball and you can take it anywhere. Definitely, and I think that's a game that can teach you so many lessons, yeah. so many life lessons learned, so many journeys. Teamwork, what it's like, Resiliency. amazing. So listen, your career has taken you, let's, the Lakers, the Knicks, the Miami Heat, mm -hmm. the year that they won the 2012 championship. I mean, what is it like to be part, uh, what is, can you put into words what the feeling is like to win an NBA championship? No. But is it I, something you remember? Even? Oh, definitely. What I can tell you is that besides winning the NBA championship, it was the 60 days that led to winning. Right. That's, that's the whole part. And I know it's cliche to talk about it's not the destination, it's the journey. That's really what it was. And I think it was so magical to be able to re reminisce on every single day, every single turning point or crossroad that we faced and all the obstacles that we had to overcome. And my old teammate at the time, Shane Battier, used to always say, guys, let's weather the storm. We are going to come out victorious. And we wow. did. Amazing, amazing. So now when you got uh, drafted to the Lakers, they, they, um, they discovered you had a heart condition. And, you know, since then, you, you know, you've you're very, very active mm -hmm. and, and you started your own, yeah. you know, organization. Right. How did that transition, you know, happen and, and were you able to play after discovering the heart condition? Definitely. Uh, first of all, I want to, I mean, rest in peace, Dr. Buss uh, paid for my surgery. I didn't have any Wow, needs, Jerry so. Buss paid. What a man. Oh, man, what a man. So it's, it's an understatement. I grew up in L.A. He a a was a legend it's always. Definitely. Well, well deserved. But, you know, it's, it's, it's very interesting because I remember seeing him in my hospital bed uh, looking at the Laker jersey in front of me and I told myself, I mean, a promise. If I make it out alive, I'm going to give back to the community. Um, I was raised by my mom with my dad, obviously on the side, but my mom has always been back, even though she didn't have much growing up, always wanting to give back to others. So that's when in 2009, after I signed my contract with the Golden State Warriors and I met the right people around me, I decided to donate defibrillators uh, to local high school. I partnered with various organizations uh, related to heart, and we was just trying to raise awareness around heart-related issues. Right, I, especially amongst that. athletes and people that are like seemingly in good health. Yeah, definitely, and it's a silent killer, and, and I don't want to dive into it too much, but uh, it's definitely an issue that I was proud, and I'm still proud to be able to talk about. Right, right, okay, now tell us about your trip, the reality sports trip to Israel. So, where do, I mean, I imagine you went everywhere. Do you, do you, are you still taking it in, or do you have highlights that you uh, uh, can process still, right now? I'm still taking it in, but I definitely want to thank the Schusterman Foundation and the reality program because uh, it's always interesting when you have preconceived notion, whatever it may be, for lack of knowledge or whatever it may be, about anything, and to be able to have an experience curated for you, surrounded by people that are in your area, so you have a common ground about wanting to make a world a better place, is something that is truly magical. I mean, uh, I have so many different uh, highlights. I could talk about the dinners, uh, talking about life in front of the sunset. I could talk about uh, building boats uh, with my teammates, uh, with my co-partners, the numerous conversation. And one true moment that stick out to me is we were asked to bring artifacts. And those mm -hmm. artifacts are something that signify something for us. Mm -hmm. and so what did you bring? I brought the NBA championship ring wow. and uh, I brought the picture of my mother and I uh, on the ski slope. And what those represents to me is I can be an NBA champion, I can be whatever, but at the end of the day, what really matters to me is I'm trying to be a better son, a better, a better friend, a better brother, and I think that's what I'm focusing my life to, is just trying to be a vehicle for change and the artifact of my mom at the ski slope, it was because it was the first time I went on a vacation with my mom. 
Wow. What a yeah. beautiful, what a beautiful story. Your mom sounds amazing. I want to meet her. Yeah. So the, you know, the trip here, I mean, do you, are you, you know, obviously you're, you're a spiritual guy, you believe in good. I mean, do you feel like something unique, you know, being in Israel that, definitely. you know, yeah, definitely. that fits the bill as to what people explain? Of, of course, because it's, it's, it's always bigger than yourself. And when you try to go out from your limited perspective on things and you try to challenge yourself to mm. step outside your comfort zone. That's to, the key, that is the key. <laughs> to understand the broader perspective of right. things. Uh, it allows you to see things that was never, that have always been there but you never seen. So I think that there's, they, they did a great job creating the experience but also triggering us right. For the, with the right questions. Right. Amazing, you're amazing. And now we're going to transition and continue with you because, uh, you know, of all days that you're here, the big LeBron James uh, news, even though uh, he lost the NBA championship to the Golden State Warriors, the Cleveland native LeBron James is once again leaving his hometown team behind to head to Hollywood, being a teammate of his. Yeah. What's it, you know, what's it like being on the same team as this man, <laughs> yeah, big he's man? He's definitely amazing. He's always making sure that everybody is happy, everybody's having a good time. And he's always trying to get the better. Uh, the best uh, out of his teammate by just trying to always give pointers and stuff and to see him sign with the Lakers <laughs> it's, it's definitely fun for an organization that matters to me uh, he's gonna carry on the torch of uh, all the Laker greats and it's gonna be amazing Fantastic. So he's a good uh, example of someone who, you know, is a good team player, right? He's a great he wasn't example. just a ball hog, right? No, he's definitely the opposite of a ball hog. I've, I wish he was a ball hog even more. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's definitely an example for so many uh, African Americans, for so many people, uh, for what he represents for not only the city of Akron, but what, has, what, what he has done for numerous foundation and helping kids and building schools and hospitals. I mean, he's definitely someone wow. that we should pat. You guys are like kindred spirits. Thank you. It's <laughs> such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank Come you. Stay, stay. Stay in Israel.